Okay everybody, uh, this is DC here. I am so sorry and apologise to my subscribers that I've not uh, posted a video for a good while. The reason uh, that I've not posted a video for a good while is I've been studying uh, the works of Nikola Tesla. I've come to this conclusion and this is a big one. Uh, what I'm showing you here is um, the winding circuitry of a pole transformer to a normal domestic property. So it's the transformer outside your house. Uh, I want you to consider this. The schematics you're seeing here, if you look at them closely, you'll see here that the, it's grounded and neutral at the same time. Now, I want you to tell me, and this is my big a wake up call is how on earth can you have the ground and neutral connected together on a live wire and that's a live wire in a transformer yeah at high voltage now then uh, please come back to me please record this video for yourselves because I think they're going to take me down with this one they're going to take they're going to take me down I know they are because what I've discovered is that it's, it's so big. What it is, the teachers, the universities have been lying to us about electrons. There is no such thing as an electron. It can't possibly exist. And this, this proves it. Um, I'm going to make more videos about this. I'm really annoyed at the teachers and what they've done to us. How, how can this live wire in the middle, how can it be all of a sudden neutral? And connected to ground as well, it's impossible. I can explain it. I'm going to do more videos on this, but please, please study this. Just look at the transformer, uh, the schematics of a transformer that delivers power to your house. I'm going to make another video very shortly. This is mega. There is no such thing as an electron, and this proves it. Thank you. DC signing out.